Yeah. Sorry about that. I keep pressing the wrong button. Let's keep us out of the intersection here. Let's back off a little bit. Let's cool it off. We have people that evidently they were arrested for throwing casino chips in the street. Obviously, that's a crime down here on Wall Street. Right? 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 right. We're gonna mark. Keep the street, take the street, folks. Let's keep moving. Let's keep it moving. It's not you, I'm talking to people. That's right. Pardon me, pardon me. We're gonna keep it moving. Excuse us, excuse us. Pardon me, pardon me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get back up on the sidewalk. That was exciting, huh? Yeah. Uh, right in the middle of the action, dude. Occupy Wall Street all day, all way. 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 Occupy Wall Street all day. I don't want to yell in your ears. <laughs> Police are pushing people back up against the sidewalk. Sorry for the shaky camera, I'm a little adrenaline rush right now. So I was down there in the middle of the intersection. All right, they got arrested for throwing casino chips. Right, they got those two little dickheads, right, the Asian guy and the other guy beside him. They're going through the crowd with cameras and they're like searching out people, right? I just want to stay out of that while being around all those many people. Jones! Jones! Are you live streaming right now? I don't know. I have to, I have to check. Jones! Well, you got to get my hot spot. You got to get my hot spot out and like turn it on. Yeah. But let's wait till later before. Yeah. And don't waste I mean, your battery. So if you want to save your battery, I do gas and then. Uh, yeah, that's it. Say, and then that's and then this. What about turn uh, on? You stream you want. Not Facebook, right? Yeah, don't worry about all that. Then what I do, just upload? Yeah, there you go. We're done. Uh, I think I did that a little bit. Okay. So the police have been making arrests down here for ticky tack little things like like putting casino chips. Where are you, are you from uh, New York? New Haven. New Haven, okay, yeah. great. Great, I came out here from San Francisco. Nice, I was just yeah. out there in the summer, I was out there. Oh, great. It's a lovely city, but the cops are just as mean as they are here. I'm going to step out in the street for just a second. See if I can see what's going on. If everyone marches, you won't be as loud. Right. Yeah, stand up. Stand up going on.
Hey, Bria, I got your account set up. Alright. Alright, we're gonna move. March! March! Zed, I want to keep ahead of the crowd on this, okay? Yeah, let's keep it moving because we can get kettled easily down the street. I was worried about that. I'm not interested in being kettled. Oh, there's the Walgreens. With who? Nothing right now. I don't need any aspirin, dude. I'm, my adrenaline is pumping at full blast. You know that statue across the street? I bet you that's the same artist that does design one in San Francisco. Right. Don't worry. We'll watch out for you there, young lady. Scared of that. Don't worry. We're watching you, hon. Don't worry. All right. We're about far enough. Exciting little yeah, kind of confrontation. Try yeah, knock yourself out, man. I know there's a little wall in coverage here, folks. You know, let your friends know I'm out here live streaming. The URL is us ustre dot am slash n capital n h little h little u capital d, and you're on my live stream. Please log on to the social stream if you have anything to say. Let's see. Oh. Uh, don't worry, no, my feet dropped out because of my fat fingers touching the screen. That's that's why it's dropping out. So you don't have to worry. I got Zen, my buddy here, who knows how to follow directions. And he's helping me out. He's a great guy. I'm so glad to have him with me here in New York. Um, he's done his best to make sure that uh, his hospitality of him and his, his girlfriend and their little baby. And uh, I'm very much grateful to them. And... Uh, they can send a big shout out to Zen, and he's going to be live streaming a little bit later, and we'll give you his URL when he goes online, when I get a little tired and need a break. So we have uninterrupted coverage from Wall Street. And I wish people would not run. It's not a good idea to run at demonstrations, because it causes panic with other people, right? We're a little bit away from the action. I didn't want to get kettled. Yeah. Are you okay? You got everything? Oh, yeah. Right? They're getting kettled! They're getting kettled! Watch yourself, buddy. Yeah, this guy's running like a moron. I'm not into that. Let's go down here and see what's going on. I want to maintain all options here. I don't want to get arrested just yet. streets here are very narrow. It's very easy to get cornered by the police department. We see a lot of officers that are moving. Let's wait here. I see a lot of officers that are moving down towards the intersection. A uh, good eight or nine where the confrontations are. I'm going to try and stay free and unarrested today. How you doing there? going down into a big situation there if you don't know where you're walking. We're going to go down to the corner here because we do not want to get kettled. A little pandemonium, a little chaos in the streets in New York this morning. How y'all doing? Occupy Wall Street! Fuck the banksters! They're bringing in a bus to take away all the arrested people here, it looks like. All right, we're moving along now. All right, police can't follow everybody. All right, let's move down here. We're live from the streets. We're down in the Lower Manhattan Financial District, occupying Wall Street. I see lots of pork down here, New York pork. I just want to give it a look-see. My buddy Zen's providing the motorage. 
Full steam ahead, biofuel. Right, yeah, I'm using biopower. We're down here, we got cops in the middle of the street. And this street's a little broad. This is actually Wall Street, folks. Let's kind of miss this. Yeah, there we go. Right, and as long as we're not in the street or anything, right, as you can see, they've got it, they've got it tied up. That's cool, I got it, let's back up. Yeah, I, wanna, I don't want to do anything to cause the cops to, yeah, say that I'm doing something illegal when I'm not. Back on the side Yeah, just a little bit. There we go. This is good. Perfect. Got lots and lots of New York pork out here today. Okay. All right. Well, I definitely don't want to go down. We're gonna cross the street. Let's cross the street over here. I don't want to sit here. Got lots and lots of police department out here. The army of the one percent. You know, instead of protecting us, they're protecting the bastards. Hey, that's you. Oh, that's a good spot right here. Instead of protecting the banksters, or protecting the public, they're protecting the banksters of Wall Street. The crooks that stole $16 trillion from the United States of, of America by giving 0% interest loans to the 12 largest banks. And that's not billion, folks, that's trillion, $16 trillion that has been stolen from you, the American taxpayer, for the last year. And to give you an idea of how much money that is, that's more than the gross national product of the United States of America in one year. So the police are definitely on the wrong side of things here. They're definitely not on the side of the 99% today. They're on the side of the 1% because they know it's been paid off. New York City Police Department one of the world's most corrupt police departments, I might add. Lots and lots of graft in New York. I bet you half of these officers are taking bribes. I wouldn't doubt it. They're probably getting bribed by Wells Fargo, Citigroup, Chase Manhattan, uh, Shearson Lehman Brothers. Who else is that? Who else can we name? Jay JP Morgan, anybody out there that's out there in internet land that wants to tweet me and let me know if there's any more corporations that we missed that, that are uh, bribing the New York Police Department to come down here, let me know. We're Procter & Gamble has a stake over here. Yeah, maybe, Procter & Gamble. Hometown. Right. Multi now, are you from uh, Cincinnati? Yep. Hi, how you doing? Doing all right. Right, I'm from San Francisco. Yeah, and you came down here for Occupy Wall Street? Yeah. And what's like your name? Matt. Matt? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, right. you can see what this is about. Now they just, all right, well, I'm moving it about this far. How's that? You're welcome. Oh, this is good right here. So, Matt, so yeah. what brings you down to Wall Street today? You know, I want to know what this is about. And I was sort of stuck in a rut of my life. I only got the option, really, to uh, work a meaningful job for the rest of my life for, uh, for shit I don't want really. It's bothering me. I thought, you know, I'll come down here, see where I can go with my life. Good, good. I'm glad to see you down here, man. Thanks. Right. Thanks. Big fist bump out to you. Hey, Thanks. I'm from the uh, land of super corpse and suburbs. Hell on earth. <laughs> well, we got donuts for the police down here if anybody wants one. I should have brought some donuts. That'd be great. See now you see what they are the way they are here. Oh, of course, it's sir. like they like to you gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move a few inches, you gotta move a few inches. Right, fuck that. Alright, you're not doing anything illegal, right, man. You don't like it? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Hey, auntie, auntie capolista. Hey, auntie, auntie capolista. Hey, auntie, auntie capolista. Hey, auntie, auntie capolista. We're gonna follow the police down here. Oh, IWW, International Workers of the World. Pardon me. 
I do. Sure thing, huh? Right, let's back up here and say here. So it's like a good spot. I'm not I'm not illegal, I'm not in the way. Okay. Get some more people down here. This guy he didn't look too happy. I think he works down here. Alright. More people down the street. There's at least uh, there's at least a couple thousand occupiers down here now. All through the streets of the the uh, lower end of Manhattan, the financial district here. Yeah, I'm getting by on no sleep, so if I start babbling, don't die. Alright, we're going to follow the march down here. Oh, maybe we're not moving. Maybe we moved along a little too fast there for you. we got a little congregation of police down here, but uh, it doesn't look like they're ready to move in just yet. New York's finest, the Vibe Squad. Keep an eye on these guys for you. We're not really in any physical danger here thus far. Uh, police have actually been quite restrained other than their little snatch and grabs that they were running with the video camera and the undercover police. And make a note of that one bald-headed cop so if you're in New York, I'll make sure that I pull that frame out of this video at the 22 uh, minute 53 second mark. I'm good. You know, just keep an eye on me. You don't have to stay directly behind me or anything. You know, just stay in the general vicinity. And when I'm ready to go, I'll, I'll go. Zah! And something I turned around. I turned around listening to that conversation. All of a sudden, you were gone. You were oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep an eye on me. <laughs> All right, we got a little more action going on up here. Kind of a chaotic, uh, chaotic scene. There's no real march going on right now. Which one? Which one? Okay. Sorry. Not for everyone. Just the one percent. Oh yeah, what a bunch of shit. <laughs> Right. Hey guys, hit ByzantiumSecurity.com. Bunch of assholes. Right, capitalists can never come up with anything originally. I have to copy everybody else. We got a New York police vehicle out here in the street coming up. They're moving along. I try to keep our ear on the radio here, folks. Got a little circle going on in the block here. Everybody's in it except me. 
Alright, here's how you do it. And you can get cheap insurance too for you here. Now they would just order some network coverage in the game. That would be I belong to some of the small businesses. See, I was, I'm following the bears, but I got... Following the bears? I'm following the bears. Now we got the police out here, they're trying to uh, intimidate people from being out in the street, as is their custom. Hey, go fuck yourselves! Fuck you! Right, you fat piece of shit! All you, with your weenie little scooters! Right, there's the, uh, the folks out here. This is the New York equivalent of the tax squad in San Francisco. You know, of course our tax squad, their bikes are a little nicer, which uh, doesn't really mean anything, but now we got the scooters out here blocking the intersection. And you know what? I really don't know what the fuck they're doing out here because the intersection is already blocked off, right? There's no traffic coming through, really, other than police vehicles. So it's, it's a bunch of complete horse shit. Sig, Hyle! Sig, Hyle! Next flood, next flood! Alright, we're gonna move, folks. Moving on. Watch it, everybody. We're coming through. Nice tie. Actually, did like that tie, folks. It was beautiful. So, we're gonna move down here to the next block and stay ahead of the action. There's the atrium uh, where a lot of the organizing went on. This building, right, uh, this building right here? No, to the left. Up to the left, okay. There's a big uh, grid work there. So right. It was all full all the time with working groups and stuff. Okay. Well, let's let's slow down here a little bit and get a little better angle so the people at home can see. You might, you might want to just pop in there if you can across the street. Uh, uh, it was basically the center ground for like organizing. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll be moving around. So the police, they kind of moved in on the intersection here. We're going to wear these boys out today. Get your exercise today! Right, we got all kinds of cops in waiting down here. I like to stay a little clear of the police, especially in a city that I'm not a resident of. Or a city that I am a resident of. Right. We have this police department, this fine police vehicle, blocking the disabled. Trying to make sure he sees me before I move on. They say, oh, you don't have enough bodies, you only got two. All right. All right, let's keep an eye on this guy. Oh, sorry for the shakiness. We're a little ahead of the demonstration right now. Anyway, we got the atrium across the street. That's where most of the organizing that was done for Occupy Wall Street. Was it 55 Water Street is the address? Something like that? 60, okay. In beautiful Manhattan. Plenty of occupiers here. I can't lose that van though. Sorry, down there. We got the paddy wagons out here, folks. Uh, you know what? They're down there. They're down where, wherever they're going. That's where the crowd is. 
Yeah, let's move down this way, yeah. That's what I wanted to hear. He's trying to get some police and police on intelligence. There we go. You want to know what's going on, and you want to know police movements here in New York, all you have to do is get around. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, all you have to do is stand uh, next to a command uh, officer, and he will be giving directions, and you can find out exactly where the police are going to be. So we have our own form of intelligence here. They got security guards posted at most of the entrances to the buildings down here. What's new? We got a, a gaggle of riot cops. Looks like they might want to, they're trying to ready uh, the van for more arrests, it looks like. Now let's give it a, let's get a little picture of somebody's getting arrested down here. Not too close. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Hey, love you, man. Hey, what's your name? Say your what's name? What's your name? Scott Roberts. I was arrested for standing on the sidewalk peacefully. I should be out today, and I will be back in the streets. All right, Scott Roberts. I'm loving everybody. Okay. This is not justice. This is not the answer. More money, more police power, more hate is not the answer to the world's problems. We need to stand up and we need to make sure that we make a conscious choice to live a sustainable, positive life. We're here for bigger reasons. Thank you, Scott. Don't worry, I have nothing to fear for me. I'm just getting the story. They were one of our uh, our friends um, taking us uh, to a uh, rainbow uh, gathering. In oh, you know him? Yeah. Oh, wow. Her, her, uh, rainbow gathering, uh, Occupy so. Farm uh, connection. Is that Scott Roberts who was arrested for standing on the street? Police mean business out here. They got the buses. They've got all kinds of pack wagons. They got the riot helmets. I don't see the nightsticks out. They're less nightsticking oriented than... Uh, San Francisco police. Here they like to do the, the snatch and run, that's their big deal. Right, this guy here, undercover. And he looks like a cop too. Keep an eye on him, he was at the 2757 mark. So we will pull that frame out for future reference. Glad to have all you people watching. You're my uh, protection out here. Uh, make sure you let your friends know. Um, I'm available. Just look me, Google me at Freeman Sullivan, and you'll be able to find all my information and how to get a hold of me and what I'm currently engaged in and all the stuff. Because I have nothing to hide, unlike the banksters of Wall Street. See if we got any new uh, tweets in. Yeah, uh, Cops really have much more to see here. Let's uh, let's take a peek around the corner here and see what's up. Nothing. Nada. Nada. I don't want to block the intersection here. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to Foley Square. It looks like. Yeah, it's like a few blocks up. It's like about six blocks. Almost time for another cup of coffee, huh? We're just going to hang out in this corner. Let's not try to block it, though. I don't want to be arrested for blocking the sidewalk. I've done pretty good. I haven't been arrested since 1989. Oh, my God. I'm getting old. Jail, miss you. 
Yeah. No, we don't. They, they wanna, you want to see the new model? Um, oh, we got a glamour Western slammer. Com uh, prison complex. They got a glamour slammer here too. Yeah, the best for the activists. Just like San Francisco. Uh, away from home. The home away from home. home, away from home. Got the glamour slammer for the protest occupy. It's too bad they can't arrest any of the banksters. They can't find right. them. They can't find the banksters. That's right, because they're all hiding. It's been real exciting here in New York. I met lots of great people. Uh, I've been up constantly and running around. I haven't had a chance really to rest. Uh, actually, I didn't get any sleep last night. I had to prepare everything, get it going. Um, trying to figure out the next direction we want to head in. There's really not much more to see here. Occupy. More occupiers. Looks like they're getting ready to take away Scott. He's like an amiable enough dude. You know, I don't really think, you know, as, as far as the police department goes, I might get a little angry sometimes, but it's not all these police officers are down here to beat people up and arrest people. And I can tell a lot of them don't even want to be down here. They'd have other things to do. I'm sure. I must be getting boring. All right, let's let's move around. I'm kind of bored sitting here. Let's go down here. Excuse me, sir. It's okay. No problem, brother. We're gonna move down here a little bit and see what's going on. I see more New York pork, and not the good kind of pork. officers here. Now we got the biggest, most corrupt gang in New York, which is the New York City Police Department. Biggest gang in New York City, New York City Police Department, folks. They got the guns. They're moving along. Moving their vehicles out.
Scott Ro Roberts. Roberts is in one of those vehicles. One of our friends is arrested today for supposedly blocking the sidewalk. Um, I'm of the opinion that he'll probably be released by at least by tomorrow morning, hopefully. Usually it depends on how many people get arrested and whatnot. Uh, this is what your uh, tax taxpayer dollars are going to pay for. There's a massive police presence down here in Lower Manhattan. Uh, we invite you to uh, call up the New York Police Department hotline and complain that your tax dollars are being wasted on this needless excuse. Uh, all they're doing is protecting the banksters. They're supposed to be serving the public. We pay their salaries. Right? The banksters don't even pay their taxes, right? And they're defending these people. Pretty much what it's about. All in maintain order for capitalism. We want to make sure that capitalism runs smoothly, even though we know it doesn't. It's an obsolete system that's due to be replaced with something better, that's more sustainable, that takes care of people and puts people ahead of profits. Instead of letting the banksters make billions of dollars off of you and me and put us all into this to the slavery of debt and money and we're glad you're watching us out here we're trying to keep an eye we're actually a little a little ways away from some of the action I didn't like that street that we were on and I didn't want to be kettled because there was an awful lot of police officers that were at the end of the street. That's why I moved on. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go. Uh, probably. Well, let's just stay here for a minute. Does anybody have any ideas or directions? You can uh, log under the social stream. Go fuck yourself, lady. You bitch. Shouldn't do that, but she's such a such a nasty little woman. Where did she go? I didn't even get a good picture of her. Oh yeah, it's that lady in that running, practically running, right? She's got a lot of nerve. Yeah, being in New York here in lack of sleep. It's actually gotten me a little more pissed off. I'm a little less uh, patient and compassionate than I usually am. So I'm sorry out there, viewers. Don't be shocked. This is not a family program. Uh, it's NC-17. So uh, we advise that uh, children under six not watch this video stream, which I doubt if any children will be watching. I'm just wondering if we should circle around and like maybe go down this direction here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's, I don't know. Which direction do you think? Okay, well, let's go down in that direction. All right. Uh, watch the watch the street. Okay, we don't got any traffic. We can go. Yeah, we're good. And we're not gonna we're not gonna take that. Let's cross over here, and then we'll go up the street here and see what happens. Ah, uh, there we go. There's some, there's some occupiers. I wonder what these guys are with their, their red. Let's check this out for a second. Oh, uh, what are they? Are they like? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are they like uh, paramilitary police or what? Yeah. Uh, regular, like, cops. Oh. Uh, yeah, because they look really stupid. 
with their little red hats. Yeah, yeah they got Direction. some. We're, you know, we're oh, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, because they look really stupid. I hate to say it. Nice bikes. Yeah, see, yeah. That's the way people ought to be traveling right here. Sustainable. Doesn't add to traffic. Keeps you healthy. All right, I guess we can move down here now. Got all the little motorcycle cops with their cute little motor scooters. Congratulations, officers. <laughs> so we're making our way down to Bully Square. for these moments. I really uh, think all of uh, Americans ought to be out there protesting. If you knew how many trillions, not billions, trillions of dollars that have been given away to the banks over the past year. Right? They 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 give you a hard time when you go down and you want to get a you're like out on the street and you need some help getting back on your feet. Well you can't get any money. You get denied. Let's let's hang on this corner for a second. Let's just check up here and see if we see any people. Let's try to. St I'm gonna try and stay out of the way of the. I don't want to run over your peaches. All right. See what maybe is going on up here. Okay. Let's go up in that direction. In a second. Yeah, we'll go up this way. Try to get you back to the action. It's what it, it's a real adrenaline rush, people. Glad you're here. Glad you're watching. We're gonna get up here uh, a little closer to the action. So bear, bear with us. Yeah, I'm a little bit hostile today. I wonder why. All right, we're good to go now. All right, let's go. Yeah, you got it. There we go. Oh, there's a... Uh... Hey, where's everybody at? Where's nobody down here? I like just look down here. Wait, we're just at Water Street. Oh, okay. Water Street. Because that was supposed to be the emergency point. Yeah, right. You mean Foley Square? No, right now. Oh, right now? Okay, we'll follow you. Oh, you said Scott. Nothing there, but what are you looking for? 
Yeah, we that's in that's in the next block. Yeah, yeah, we already passed that. Not that I know about. I'm just looking for more occupiers. Yeah. Occupy. Yeah. That's right. So everybody's kind of scattered all over the place right now. Oh, yeah. uh, the convergence later on is the uh, Foley Square. Right, we got a map. You want to pull that map out? Yeah, that's way later. That's a safe zone. Oh, I don't. I don't think it's there. There's a a map of everything if you haven't seen that one yet. You got one? Um, What's your live stream? What's your URL? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, Optify Musicians. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, well. We're going that way? Where is it? Which way? Alright, let's go down this way. I would follow some of these occupiers. They don't I'd rather, know that we I'd rather uh, stream occupiers, occupiers than stream the cops. Where are you guys going? Uh, around Water Street. Okay. We'll follow you then. Because we lost the we lost everybody. These are veterans for peace. Yeah. And the Where are you guys coming from? New York? Uh, New York. Massachusetts. Oh, okay. So from all over? Okay, I'm from San Francisco. Welcome, I'm from LA. Alright. Well, we support our veterans. My dad was in the Army for 33 years. So, he was in Vietnam. And we're going to follow the veterans here. Of course, myself, I was never in the military. I was just an Army brat. You think that security guard was tense? Yeah, he's like going like this with his glove and. Lots and lots of cameras out here today. Which is always a good thing at protests. Oh, tell man, what? Alrighty. Thanks for that. Uh... All right. You know what I really like to be doing is going into like a gourmet salad bar or sit somewhere and have breakfast or whatever. But yet I'm out here running around the streets in New York like a wild man. I'm out here for you, you know, you people out there that are watching, you know that. I'm out there for Americans that are constantly have to live under the threat of debt, slavery. Let's, let's take a look at some of these signs here. How are you guys doing today? Hey, good, thank you. Hey. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Thank you. There we go. Gracious good morning, and gracious good day. Great, you guys Just from New York? Planet and prosperity versus greed. There we go. I agree. All polar bears. They take All right. Where are you guys from? Colombia. Oh, Colombia. Oh, great. You came farther than I did. Yeah. That's. I'm happy to see you here. Lovely. Much love. All right. Well, we're going to continue on. Thank you. Wonderful. I'm from San Francisco. I thought I had the record around here, man. Got people from Colombia. Yeah, it looks like something's going on down here. We're going to continue down. I got my motorman's in. I wouldn't be able to do this without his his help. We'll just go over the curb. No, no, let's go over the curb. I'll get up. There we go. Oh. Oh, going around in circles in, uh, in the downtown Manhattan. That lady liked us. She was cute, huh? Yeah. 
a big smile. I like to see that. I'm a big smiler these days. I don't, I'm not not too unhappy about too much other than Wall Street and the revolution and trying to change society and make some change, some positive change for you at home and for your children and your children's children and your children's 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 children. So we're out here for all those unborn generations. Uh, I saw a bunch of people going down here. So when I get up, we can just pull right in through these gentlemen. Excuse us. You guys doing okay today? All right. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Right I'm doing great. I'm down here from Occupy Wall Street from San Francisco. I've been an activist for 41 years, so this is nothing new. Nothing new. Where is it all happening? Uh, you know, I'm, I saw a bunch of people down there, and that's the next convergence point. So I've got my eye on them. We have a map, but they should. We, when I'm on this, when I'm live streaming, it's hard for me to. I can't get any phone calls or anything like that, so or tweets or texts. Well, I can get tweets. All right, let me get up and I'll... Uh, all right, nice talking to you, sir. Nice guy. I love talking to normal people here and just uh, engaging people. I enjoy that so much, a bit of conversation. And when you talk to uh, most people, uh, they support Occupy Wall Street and our objectives. Uh, we're trying to change capitalism and get rid of it. And we want a society where people and values are placed at a higher premium than dividends and derivatives and it uh, looks like we're moving up this building here straight ahead is actually uh, the jail for New York that uh, that big brown one I got in the center of the screen that's the jail so if you get arrested here in New York that's where they take you let's hold up here I don't want to get run over all right let's move along we got it got it covered there's no light here obviously New York does have a lot of nice parks and plazas here. All right, Mr. Z. Moving along. Gorgeous day out here in New York. It's about 65. Slight breeze, always watching. There we go. Okay, we're getting close now. Yay! At Chase. Chase Manhattan, where your dollars do less. Hello, everybody. All right. All day, all week, occupy Wall Street. 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 All day, yeah, there we go. We're out here, we go down, we're down here with some action. All right. Let's kind of find a little spot that's somewhat out of the way. Like right here is good. We're good. I'll move out here so I'm not in people's way. Ah. There we go. Now we're good. The humans are causing a huge problem for themselves and they're gonna they're gonna take themselves out, you know. I mean, they're gonna take themselves out. Occupy take Wall Street, them, right? They just they don't know what they do. I mean, Wall Street's drowning all of us. I mean, our polar ca ice caps are melting. I mean, the financial meltdown is an ecological meltdown. So there's way too much heat. Way too much heat on Wall Street. 
That's a good drive. Yeah. Drive right? Good. That was a good drive. You want to jump in? You're so good, man. She's got that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's... Thanks for being down here. Hey, thank you. We can roar, All right. Let's see what's going on down here. Another convergence point here. I would imagine there's like about 40 or 50 occupiers here at this spot. We got a big uh, payday loans. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a snowball of debt. Occupy! Where's Occupy Man? All right, let's, let's step back here. Stay on this side of the police line here because they want to move in, right? Right, America's biggest gang, the New York City Police Department. For all of those out there in internet land, we know each one of these men is probably getting getting their fair share of bribes and donuts and free meals, taking advantage of your public goodwill. And this is what police are really paid to do, which is enforce the status quo. And we're out here, we're very unhappy with the status quo. When you have 700 people in the world that control more wealth, than the rest of the seven billion, then we have a problem here. Right? We're paying your salary, yet you're arresting us. Thanks, there's no pay taxes. So you're not working for us. And where do you think your benefits and your eight hour day and your health benefits, where does that come from? That comes from people like us who struggle for change to make your life better even when you arrest us and be us. So, so you benefit from this as well. I'm sure that the police department has a bunch of money invested in a pension fund somewhere. Right? And you probably have some Wall Street bankster that's picking your pocket too. So remember that when you're making a rest today, officers. Have a little compassion. How you doing? I'm out here. My name's Clark. That's me. Right. I'm out here from San Francisco. Right. All right, man. We love it. We got all people from all over the country, all over the world, actually. Canada. Canada, there we go, we got some Canadian, let's get some pictures of occupiers, right, screw the fucking police, I've seen enough cops in one day, and if I never saw a cop again, I would be happy, they do not protect and serve the 99%, they protect and serve the Wall Street bankers, who are picking their pockets as well, and their children, and their children's children, and their children's children's children. We will all be in debt to the Wall Street bankers 
if we don't stop this bullshit now. Occupy! Occupy! Anyway, how you doing there, Steve? Good to see you here. Another San Franciscan. Yeah, San Francisco! We got a lot of San Franciscans here today, too. So, we came all the way out. There's a bunch of stuff going on in San Francisco today. Like, we have a lot of stuff. There's actually more going on there, I think, than here. Right. Uh, taking over the financial district. There's, um, they're hitting a bunch of banks. That's a strategy. They're going to go from one bank to the next and shut them down. And that's what I heard what the strategy is. I wish I could be there. I'm with my comrades in San Francisco. But, you know, I waited two, like two years to get and do some traveling. And, uh, and so I decided I'd come out here. And it's my friend Zen. He lives in Brooklyn. And uh, he's been showing me the hospitality and everything. So are they doing something separately in Oakland? Or? Uh, yeah, I heard there was something in Oakland. Oakland, too. Um, but in the morning, and a lot of those actions are are going to be local San Francisco because we have a lot of different Occupy groups now, and uh, we're not just one big hom you know homogenized mess. So uh, we've actually evolved, and we actually do more actions and things like that now than we did when we were congregated oh, that's great. all together. And uh, Is yeah, a debt group there? I'm sorry. Is there a debt group? Yeah, I believe so. Yes. So, um, and I do a lot of stuff. I'm one of the chief cooks and bottle washes for for the groups down there. I do a lot of tech work. So, live streaming is my my new career now. I've been doing it for the last six months, and it's been really enjoyable. Hmm. You I know? must have been watching some of your live streams. Probably. Probably. You live in New York City? I actually live in San Francisco. Oh, I you live in San Francisco? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was doing a bunch of work there before, and I, but I've been here for like three months, so I, I kind of haven't, I haven't kept up with what was going on there. Uh -huh, okay. What part of the city do you live in? Mission. Okay. That's a great, great part. I like the mission. I live on Fifth Street. On what? Fifth and Market. Uh -huh. I was placed there. I broke my leg, shattered my leg uh, about two years ago. And uh, I'm like, I'm healthy now, right? Like, I don't have a lot of stamina. Yeah. But I can get up and walk and yeah. stuff, right? So I'm able to go through New York by myself now. That's awesome. Yeah. I wouldn't have left San Francisco unless I was fully healthy, right? Totally. And, uh, it's a, yeah. a health-giving a health place. Oh, yeah. Well, for me, um, because when after I shattered my leg, they did they did a bunch of blood tests because they wanted to know why it happened because there was really no reason, and then they found out I had uh, uh, leukemia, and uh, they did some more tests on me. They didn't know if it was active or not, so they did more tests on me, and uh, they found out that my uh, leukemia was in remission, total remission. So I go into the uh, to see my new doctor, which is this nurse practitioner. He looks over my my chart and everything. And he says, Mr. Sullivan, I see you've been uh, uh, using uh, cannabis daily for the last 35 years. And then he looks down, looks back up at me, and he like kind of winks a little bit. He says, keep it up. Uh, you're doing good. Yeah, he says, yeah. Do it. you're doing the right thing, right? And uh, so I'm grateful. I'm grateful to cannabis. And that's why, that's the main reason, really, you really the, the truth out there, uh, viewers, the main reason I live in San Francisco is because I can give my wife the giving medicine there. And if I want to smoke a joint, to feel better, I can do so in the city of San Francisco. In New York here, they make you feel like a criminal, and you got to sneak and hide, and uh, we're going to change that too. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I lost most of my game. Tell me your name. My name's Clark. Oh, nice to meet you. I hope to see you there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Are you going to be around this for a while? Yeah, me too. And we'll probably end up at Foley Square sooner or later. Yeah. Cool. Hi, right, Kathy. Nice young lady. Let's get over here. Anybody else have beef with Citibank? Always. Yeah. yeah. I'm a lot taller than I thought. When I, when I get in the wheelchair, right? I don't realize my height, right? It's really weird. But I went for like a whole year thinking I was like three and a half foot tall. Right? Anybody else beef with Citibank? Okay, what else we got? We got Chase. 
We're trying to find another spot. We were told to move, but eh, the police look pretty mellow. Right, well, I'm going to back off. I'm just going to watch. Oh, you guys can't hear it anyway. Here, occupy the belly of the beast. Oh. Pinata. Oh, let's go over here and check it out. Always oh, looking for a good photo op. There we go. Occupado. Las Estranias de la Bestia. Bestia? Yeah. Occupa. Occupy the, the guts of the beast. All right. We've got our Spanish translation. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, there's the other side for all our English people, all our English speakers. Where are you guys from? New Zealand. Where? Maryland. We're from here, but our bit, but she's from Puerto Rico. My family's from Berlin. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for coming down. Appreciate your courage. I got my little speech when it comes down, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that like a lot. I think they got to hear it too, you know, about their pension fund. It's getting robbed by the banksters too, right? Yet they're down here beating us up and arresting us, right? Right? And we're protecting their pensions, right? Right? I already did it before. I don't want to antagonize them anymore. They look like they're pretty peaceful right now. As long as they're peaceful, I usually won't say too much. But when they think they're gonna, when I think they're gonna move in, that's when I, the bullhorn in my voice goes loud. Da -da -da. <laughs> oh yeah, I got your new email too. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, I had to to get the Ustream account. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right. Well, you can change that when you want. Yeah, well, I got one of those too. Yeah. Matter of fact, when we later on we're going to uh, Zen's going to be live streaming. Well, you gotta. I, I what I do is I turn the Wi-Fi wi wi hotspot on myself and keep it because I'm gonna. I have a nice little base station here, right? That I can be seated in. I'm not moving around as much. But if you're like within 150 yards of me, you can pick up my signal. Oh, wow. There was nothing blocking it, you know, like. Yeah, I know. Keep dancing. With there we go. <laughs> if I can't dance, I don't want to be part of your revolution. You can go where you want to. You can fuck them so can I. You can act like you come from the mountain. You can move from all behind. You guys gotta check out the video. You can dance. Everyone is out of control. Took the like took the voice out of the song. <laughs> no, no, the, the hot spot stays in my pocket. It doesn't, it doesn't move around. It's never really too cool. One of my equipment is... Not that I'm trying to be selfish. It's just I can't afford to replace it, right? Man, I'm hungry. You know, I think I've lost about five pounds since I've been here. They call it adrenaline and not eating. Yeah, I haven't, like yesterday, I didn't eat anything all the way up until like 11 o'clock at night. That's uh, good, it'll keep your mind uh, sharp. I'm really glad it's not raining. It's really nice out here. Yes, it could be raining. It's raining money for the one for set. Everybody do the dinosaur. Oh, I don't remember that. I think that's it. There's, uh, there's another one that you never remember. Yeah. 
little wall in the action. Hey, why don't you call up uh, Ackman and see where, where his freaking butt is? Oh, looks like we're getting ready to move somewhere. We're on the move again. Let's kind of follow these folks. I don't know. Which direction? We're doing the split. I think we go in this direction. Not answering? Well, he didn't answer back. Didn't. His phone might be, uh, uh, do you know Tiffany's, uh, phone number? Yeah. You want me to call him again, please? Yeah, call up, yeah, call up, uh, Ackman and see if he's answering. If he doesn't answer, call up Tiffany and no, see if she's two hours ago. Okay. Yeah, call him. If he doesn't answer, call Tiffany and see where she's at, because she's with him. We got our own little police escort. And I don't see any out-of-town police. These look pretty much like New York police. He's got a special badge. I wonder what that special insignia means. Okay, that's New York police. It's a new badge. We got new ones now instead of the old New York police badge. We got people crossing the street over here. All right, we're on the move again. This way, this way. Oh. Yep. Okay. On the move again through the streets of uh, Wall Street around the financial district. We can hop back up on the sidewalk now. How you doing? Thank you. I'm dropping my viewers off. They're tailing off. I guess we're not exciting enough. Oh well. Uh, yeah, let's watch this and see what goes on. Let's watch this and see what goes on. Let's slow down a little bit. Right, now we can move. We want to follow the police. Yeah, we're losing them, dude. Okay, well, I'll find it. It's okay, we'll find it. He's got a tweet, too. I'll have to get offline and find it. All right, let's follow these guys, man. Come on. I don't want to see these people getting beaten up by the police. I know they're not going to try and beat me up. But they will try to beat these people up. Alright, we got a good spot right here for the moment. I 
Americans all have to be satisfied with blowing cigarette smoke at the police department instead of marijuana smoke. We're going to go under this, if you don't mind, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. We're out here for you, too. Let's let's stop for a second. We got a nice, nice, good shot of people coming here. Occupy Wall Street. Uh, at least they wash the streets off here in New York. Motorcycle support? No. Uh, you're just a, just a crowd, huh? Trying to make your way by. Lots of bicyclists out here supporting Occupy Wall Street. Right. How do you, how do you pronounce it? Cohen Ties Slip and Pearl Street in uh, Financial District here in Manhattan. Got lots of energy out here. Oh, there we go. Muy perfecto. Oh, there is no such thing. That's a. That's like a. Yeah. Perfecto. Yeah, perfecto. Could either be perfect or not. Yeah, because muy. There's nothing. Perfect is perfect. It doesn't need a modifier, right? Yeah. So I know my language. Right. It's just a muy perfecto. Yeah, but it's... In, in progresso. Not a dolly. Thank God someone does. People are taking to the streets down here. Well, that smells good. Huh? That smells good. Ah, uh, that was, that uh, be, there we go. It's okay, wherever you want to go is fine. Lots of actions down here today. We're running the police all over all over the financial district. Right, I only got my back to the police, so. Oh, 
the roads inside here. I don't want props on my back. You gotta watch your step here, folks. Watch your step here, folks. We got police ready to move in on you. Watch your step, folks. Battle veterans. We've been doing this for 40. I've been doing this for 41 years. He's been doing it about two decades. This shit gets crazy. We're watching. You need a. You need an out. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Well, I've been doing this for a long time. So. That's right. Your live streamer has 41 years of activism under his belt. Yeah, they kind of got us, like, kind of surrounded here. I think pretty much, yeah. Yes. There were a few arrests earlier, up in um, uh, as we went by. Uh, what was that? What was that place? The atrium? Yeah, by near the atrium. Yeah. There was like a block, a block and a half from there. They did made it. Uh, people were taking uh, casino chips and throwing them in the street. They were arresting people for that. And arresting people for standing on the sidewalk. I don't. I don't necessarily. Oh, he's filming me now. Oh, I don't, don't worry, it's going out to my, you know, it's, it's out of love, okay? Um, right. I don't really agree with the anarchists. Why not? Um, I like more organization. Why well, anarchists are organized? But the whole, like, I can say what I want, and there's just too much fuck going on, and I don't agree with the fuck I don't either. And so I have a hard time standing next to them. I understand. Associated with the fuck you. I'm like, we gotta keep no, like, love you. Right, yeah, I agree, I, I agree. Love this together, I want you in here, not away. Well, I'm afraid I'm hearing your words of wisdom. Because I got a little nasty with a lady. She called me a loser for being out here, right? So I told her to go uh, yeah, yeah, F herself, so right? Well, I knew I, when I said it, I knew I made a mistake. Right? Right. And then I should right. show up. We're learning together. That's right. We're trying to transcend the bullshit, right? And, and we're going to fuck up. But the point is that we keep trying. That's right. We all make mistakes. Uh, I'm glad you're going slow. Like, don't rush just because the police tell you you got to move. Right? Show me what democracy looks like! San Francisco, I'd be pushing it with the police, right? Are you from New York? Now, where are you from? I just moved to Vermont. Okay. I'm out here from San Francisco. I was just out in Oakland. Okay. I have a really hard time with Occupy Oakland, too. And I... Diversity of tactics is crap. Well, I sympathize because they're angry, and when you're angry, you have to get it out, and they don't know how to get it out. That's there's childish. Resources. There's other resources. Yeah, it's childish to, to break windows and all that stuff, I think. But, then, but that's where they are emotionally. Right. So, like, how do we help them to get their anger out so that they can mature emotionally? Well, you know, the easiest way to do it is to get about 20 people and fly it up block a bank, right? And start doing bank blockades every day, right? And it only takes five to 20 people to shut down a bank. And just that's what they're doing in San Francisco today. They're doing uh, roving bank occupations. And going to banks, staying there until they shut down, and then leaving and then going to another bank, and doing the same thing again and again. It's a good strategy. All right, let's go to the... Like, let's watch our backs, too. All right, we'll go down here. Got lots of people down here to watch. 
Lots of spectators. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Take your time. No rush. No rush. There we go. Perfect, man. Now yeah, let's stay outside of that line here. Okay. I just don't want no cops rolling up on my back. some hard times. As much as I wanted to do, unfortunately. I should right. apply for this public assistance thing. Boy, it's like uh, you're a bad prisoner. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Tell me back to work class and it's wet. I have to try to find somebody that's so wet. I'm going to just let it sit there. Are you kidding me? I agree. You've got people whose their mindsets are so stagnated. I mean, they're like, you must clean this park like you clean your house. I'm like, I don't live here. You can't even ask them. You know, they keep, keep talking. Why go all hate you revolutionary? Okay? You crazy? And they were like, I cleaned this. I bust my behind this place for what? For free work? For a little gray T-shirt in the parks, a little green smock in the subway. It's 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 someone who isn't getting a paid job with a fair wage with benefits that are needed, which is shitty benefits for all. You know? Right. I'm going with that one. But you know what it does more primarily is bust unions. And they're sitting there thinking, wow, I can get a job with the subway. <laughs> That's what they say with a little carrot. You know, they're trying to tell some of the poor folks who have been so brainwashed that it's what you realize that for every stupid pair of sneakers that you go and buy that you can't afford on this thing, if you decided to tell sneaker manufacturers not buying one more sneaker, your one shoe that's nothing until you bring the manufacturing back here. That's right, I agree with that. Maybe for the ones with the felonies. I'm sitting there, you can, you can felonies. I can't get a job here, they don't want me in their place. I'm sitting there like, but you're still behind the crap from these different people. To so try to make them understand the interconnection between your pocketbook and their power. Right. And if you take, you know, the profit away from them, the exchange. Right. They are afraid of profit. I know, I've done Goldman, I've done McKinsey. Okay, my last job was for a CEO. I know. Okay, you take that money from them. All of my fellas out here in the white shirts and blue shirts will be running up, running around trying to stop the bodies from flying out the windows. I know. They're afraid of that than death. They don't want to live poor. Hand it to them on a silver platter. Boycott the subject. Keep telling them if you boycott them, you take the power from them. They will fall for my spies and not be able to handle them. They won't be able to deal with it. it it's something that would bother their mind. We did it before. We did it. We took the tea. And we threw it in the harbor. Okay? To protest the fact that they were using this to, you know, smash us upside the head. We told New Orleans we're not giving you another dime so we can sit with a healthy one on the bus. Which is how we knew my government work. You take the money, the acquiesce. Yeah? We don't want to understand that. But everyone around here, every little place you pass by, if you stop buying and you tell them, and you shut down all the phone lines to all the little um, political pu the little pu puppets that, you know, the screw strings they pull. Right. And you shut it down just like we did for their death asset, okay? We call the champions boards, we call their corporate, you know, people. You, uh, you make 
make sure that you tell them that. You make sure you put in a bonfire in the middle of the street at the mall. You know, all that all that public space for privately owned nonsense. Yeah. And suddenly things change. You know, you have the power. You don't realize it. But you know, you have to set up for the mom and pop shops and support it so that you do you do have to plan it. I get that. What's your, what's your name? Deborah. Deborah? Yeah, yeah. My name's Clark. Take care. I was nice watching the name got picked out of the park that night. Hey, 8,000 hits. And I was like, you, you can't stop. You have to keep going. But the protesting is great. If you take that money from them sons and guys, you tell them, I'm not buying A, B, C, and D. And we're going to bring it to your knees. We want you out. I mean, I want to tell American people, if they're boycotting the American worker, why can't you boycott them? It's as simple as that. Simple Thank as that. You. Thank you. No profit, no power. I'm gonna say when I, I like uh, I when I make purchases, I always watch who I'm purchasing from, and I would rather purchase from like one thing I love about New York is they have all these great street vendors. For now, you know, and I like I support them before I like I would support going to a store and support That's them. A, yeah, right? nothing I have is new. It's like yeah, seven, it's eight years old. Same here. I have that stuff in my doors closed. Well, this is new. I got this yesterday. Yeah, so. you know what right. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And you realize most of this stuff is not even real fabric. It's chemicals. Well, you look nice. Fabric. You look nice yes, anyway. But the point of the matter is that what are we throwing out? When we put this in the bin, it doesn't go anywhere. Right. It can yeah. be reused. A lot of stuff. I found these sneakers. Yeah. Yeah. Out on the street. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Repurpose everything. Michael. Uh, Michael Jordan. Or Jordans, right? Yeah. Well, he's another one. That's what I said. Because if even if just the mothers got together and said, "Hey, it's back to school sale, holiday sale," not one more sneaker. What to bring the manufacturer? One of few ideas you could bring it over there to Mariners Harbor in Staten Island, all the way down there by Holland Hood, Newark. There's places in Brooklyn. There's places in the Bronx. There's Queens. You can bring it to Baltimore. You can go to Crenshaw, Compton, Camden, New Jersey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oakland, Milwaukee. There's a whole bunch of places that you can make those sneakers right up in here. There you okay? go. Stop sending the damn technology overseas. You crazy? We innovate this stuff and you just send it overseas rather than invest in what's here. You want to pay for it. You wait till the solar flares hit the end of the year. Not the 21st, few days after. I was, I, 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 I really would enjoy seeing everything just stop in one respect. I'm not afraid of it because it's the end of the world because you know it all about But other people, I live in a house with and my mother. She lived in the Bahamas with uh, no electricity at one point. It's doable. You know, just to, just to see them not have their power to use all the little toys and all the little Skynet. You know what I mean? You know, and the way they even steal ideas, even the fact that I'm saying Skynet. Look what they did to the woman that came up with the whole idea for the Terminator and the Matrix. Right. They got the information to design to the child. They got millions, millions of dollars from it. So they pretend like she didn't do it. She had to sue them and she right. went. And they did their best to keep it out of the media. Yeah, they know it's, uh, there's definitely a war against women in this country, yeah. for sure. I've covered a lot of, uh, I, I do a lot of women's events and stuff like that. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I was holding up here for this side. Okay. Nice talking to you, Deborah. We'll be around for, my name's Clark. Nice to meet you. We'll be around, this is Zen. Nice to meet you. Take we'll be around for a few more days. Cycles out again. Yeah, I'm 
little mini bikes. Police lines. Just a second here. Got to occupy Albany. Let's go back and see. It's a good shirt. I guess we can go up here to the corner. that sound is. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh. Oh, yeah. Police helicopters hanging in the air. We're at the pole. They've got the pole. Let's get a little shot of the pole here. Police out here blocking the street for us. So far, the police have been pretty restrained. Uh, they've only made a few arrests. It's hard to tell.
tactics on the uh, New York Police Department. Our fine police officers whose pensions are being robbed by the same Wall Street bankers they are protecting. So when you go and retire and you find out you have no benefits, you'll know why. Because you were defending the banksters and they're going to take it away from you just like they're trying to take it away from us. So show a little compassion for the people who are fighting for your rights too. There's a few arrests being made up the street. I don't want to get I don't want to get involved in a stampede. It's fine, it's fine. If there is more running, we just move out to the street. Alright? Don't run, no, we're good. We're good. Uh, let's get out of here. Nice shot from over here. There we go. Give you an idea of how many people are down here. This little cluster, I guess, has about 100 people, 150 people. cigarette pack out, did we? Okay. Are you supporting the tobacco man? Come on. Yeah, yeah, well, at least I'm not supporting the banksters. Who? You know, you guys' pensions, when you go to collect it, 
It's going to be all gone. They're doing it to police departments all around the country, right? First thing they do, cut the number of police, right? I live in California, Richmond, good out Cali, no pensions. Man. No pensions for police officers, right? Check it out. I think I'm joking. All right, well, this is bullshit right here. I have to get up. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Real smart ass. It's a miracle you're alive, dumbass. Fucking stupid cop. I know I should be happy and be all loving, but fuck that. How's everybody doing? Occupy! Yeah. We're the power, not the police, folks. All right, we're good. I don't want to back up on you. The police aren't the power. We're the power. We're the power of the people. And the power of the people don't stop. Setup. How you guys doing? Right. Occupy. One thing you can be sure of that old Freeman Sullivan gives as good as he gets. <laughs> they gotta be the stupidest looking cops I've ever seen in my life. Alright, uh, you wanna go over to the Battery Park? Is there something going on over there? I don't know, it looks like it. Right, let me get off let me get off of this thing. Thanks God bailed out! We got sold out! Thanks God bailed out! We got sold out! Let's cross over here so that way we can get a better perspective over the on the crowd here. Uh, Million Marijuana March uh, back in uh, 2099 and 2001 over here. Alright. We We're in Battery Park, folks. We got sold out! We got sold out! Thanks, God, bailed out! We got sold out! Nice little crowd of people. We're starting to spread the police department thin. I don't know if you noticed that or not. There's less and less police officers. We're splitting up. This is where we, this is how we beat the New York Police Department. 
We don't stand around in a big group waiting to get arrested. We keep moving, dividing our groups, and reorganizing, regrouping. And we can run these, run the New York tech space organizing. We can run the New York pork to death. They're struggling to keep up. I know they are. They're like six pieces, and then they didn't know what to do. Well, it works to our benefit to be to not be in one large mass. Very much does. Right. We got sold. We love all of our occupiers. We'll do our best to support them and document in case the police do move in and try to make arrests to keep it from becoming violent. And generally, if I have to put myself in between the police and people, I will. I'm not afraid to do that. So I got a nice little obstacle here. And I want to get rid of the motherfucker anyway pretty soon. I'm sick of being in his wheelchair. So if it gets destroyed, it's no sweat. All right, let's slow down a little bit. I want to get a, get a handle on watching these police. I'm always, always be aware of the police when you're at a demonstration, folks. The next minute you know, you'll turn your back and you will be arrested. Yeah, I hope I didn't throw out that cigarette pack. I think I put it back. Yeah, I think so. Or maybe I got. Oh, I got it. I got it. Dad, you know what I want to do? I want to walk all the way down there to where the water is. And now that you want, you got to go to the bathroom. All right. Well, we'll find a place here pretty soon. Just let me know. But you know what I want to do. <laughs> That's right, folks out there in San Francisco land. I need to medicate. Can't do it here in, in New York City, it's illegal. They will be arrested here. They don't have medical marijuana in New York, unfortunately. They do have it in New Jersey, of which I am eligible of uh, having uh, leukemia. Well, I don't have it now, but I had it, and I can get a doctor to write to attest to that fact. So, so anybody was wondering when I came back to San Francisco that uh, why I was feeling bad was because of the uh, I had leukemia, folks. Didn't even know it. I felt like I was having a flu. I went days. And I'm wondering, you know, what the hell is this feeling like? Get ready to make an appointment with the doctor, and that day I broke my leg. <laughs> oh, you want a cigarette? We're gonna move on here in a minute, but I swear, they gotta be the wimpiest looking fucking motorbikes that I've ever seen in my life, dude. Oh, my hands getting a little shaky. You guys will have to forgive me that are watching the live stream. I didn't get any sleep last night. Too excited to sleep. But I'm pumped full of adrenaline, that's for sure. I guess we can move up a little closer. I'm trying to stay unarrested. Museum of the American 